However, uh, we are working with our fusion applications. Main work will be in our FSM environment. In FSM environment, we are going to do the functional setups. Okay. So for that, what we'll do is we'll go for uh, create an implementation project. Go to task list here. This is task list. What is mean by task list? Task list is nothing but a menu which contains some tasks. Task list is nothing but a menu which contains some tasks. We are going to perform the setups. One task is nothing but one setup. One task is nothing but one setup over here. Now I'm going to create an implementation project here. Select implementation project. You can see that there are multiple implementation projects are already created. Everyone has created their own implementation project. But when we are working in the real time, we don't find these many implementation projects. We will find a couple of implementation projects. And now we can also go for create our own right now. What is implementation projects? It's, it's also again one of the important question in the interviews. What is implementation project? It's very simple, not complex, but we are supposed to explain in a proper functional words. Okay. So implementation project is nothing but a group of offerings which we are going to implement for our client. So if they ask us what is implementation project, we have to say it's a group of offerings which we are going to implement for our client. Whenever we are implementing fusion applications, human capital management or financial or supply chain management, when we are implementing human capital management, first we are going to create an implementation project where we are going to group the offerings which we are going to implement for the client. We are going to enable it and we'll start doing the setups. After completion of all the setups, whatever we want to do it, then we will try to export all the setups from development to instance to testing instance, from testing instance to production instances. Who will create this implementation project in the real time? So generally, this will be created by the project manager, whoever is going to manage the entire project. So as a team member, we are supposed to follow the tasks, whatever is assigned for us. It's like a reporting tool for the project management. You can call it as a project management reporting tool also. So once we join in the project, the implementation project will be assigned to us. In that, we will find some tasks which we are supposed to complete as a team member. And as soon as the task is completed, we have to update that. This task has completed successfully. These are the notes we'll find. So it means end of the project, whatever the setups are done. For example, in a project, there might be five to six consultants are there. We have done around 200 to 300 setups. By end of the project, we must know who has done this setup and what was the issues faced when the project task has been assigned to the team member when the task has completed. This entire information we want to manage. So that, that is what we call it as a implementation project here. So we have to choose the name of the implementation project here. I'm going to specify IBM HCM, human capital management we are implementing. Okay, so it seems, yeah, it's, it's already there. IBM name is already exist. So we can choose some other name, let's say HCL. We are implementing our Fusion HCM, Ashok Leyland, Human Capital Management. We are going to implement Human Capital Management for Ashok Leyland client. This client has got around 50,000 employees. They are mainly into the manufacturing industries, transport vehicles, manufacturing industry, providing the services and other operations to their customers okay so to maintain their complete day-to-day -day transactions regarding the employees they have decided to implement the human capital management we are doing that and click next button here 
So an implementation project, as I said just now, it's a group of offerings which we are going to implement. Here we are supposed to choose that here. We are supposed to choose what is the implementation project we are going to do that here. It takes some time to get the list of offerings, whatever we are doing. In, in our Fusion Applications ERP, we'll find the different offerings here. So another question also they may ask is simple. Uh, in Human Capital Management, uh, can you tell me what are the different offerings we have? We have mainly three offerings. One is Compensation Management. Remaining two are Workforce Development and uh, Workforce uh, Deployment. Workforce Development and Workforce Deployment. So whenever we are going to create an implementation project, we are supposed to select the offerings, whatever we want to implement for our client. Here we are supposed to choose the modules. In every offering, there will be a features, nothing but a modules we are supposed to choose. By default, Global HR is mandatory. By default, Global HR will be there. Global HR is mandatory. So whatever the remaining modules we want to implement that we can choose here. Let's say I'm going to select another one as a payroll. As I said, global HR by default will find here. I can see that payroll here. So go for payroll here. Enable, save and open the project. Like this, we can choose the offerings, whatever we wanted to implement for our client. Later also, we can go for include this uh, offerings in the project. It's not that at the time of creating the offerings, whatever we have, that we have to follow. So we can also go for later. Depends on the requirement, we can go for later here. Now we can see that this is an uh, human capital management implementation project name status is in progress when the start date of course we can also set the finish date here the moment when we extract this task list i can see that uh, here global hr as well as the payroll where is global hr this this tasks are related for global hr common tasks where is payroll? This is all related for the payroll module. Of course, the security and reporting part we can find out over here automatically. Okay, so we can find that uh, information here it is. This is about the implementation project. So these are general questions they may ask us like, uh, what is implementation project? Can you tell me what are the offerings are there in human capital management? This all comes uh, uh, general functional point of view. Okay. And uh, how will you export and import this uh, setup's point of view? So it, it is one of the important question in the interview point of view. We started the project. We created an implementation project. We have done all the setups and we tested all these setups successfully. For example, we configured a workforce structure. We, we have tested like jobs, position, grades, and other things are working or not. We configured the approval management and we tested that approvals are working or not, like supervisor hierarchy, position hierarchy, and approval groups are working or not. Then we have configured area of responsibility regarding the security point of view. So that also we have tested successfully. Okay, so all these things, uh, setups we have done successfully and now the instance is working, which is development instance. Obviously, all these setups we have to migrate from development instance to testing instance, from testing to production instances. So in that scenario, we will be following the standard procedure for data, setups data export and import. Whatever the setups data we have done, that we are supposed to export from development. And again, we have to import in the testing instance. And then again, we have to export from testing and import into the production. How we are supposed to do that here it is. It's very simple in the cloud environment exporting process. Here we can find. 
manage the export and import data. Manage, export and import data over here it is. Here we'll be able to find the complete uh, process, whatever the objects we have implemented that will go for export. In case, if you want to go for delete those information, some of the setups like we'll go for purge, purge the export and import process here it is okay and finally we can uh, review that review the exporting and importing process what is the status and any diagnostic tests are there that we can go for fine so diagnostic test is basically whenever we are performing some transaction you got some error when we get any error we'll find basic log information in the error message, but we don't find the detailed information what happened in the backend. See, for example, I'm trying to do the global transfer for an employee. When I'm trying to do the global transfer for an employee, what will happen? System will terminate an employee in the current uh, legal employer and try to hire an employee in the source, means destination legal employer. So in this process, Somewhere system has got struck up due to some future assignment for the worker or due to some reason, it's got struck up. So in the front end, it will show that global transfer has been failed. But we are not clear why it is failed, where exactly it has failed. And I want to know what happened in the back end. What is, uh, what is the procedure for this entire process of global transfer technically? What are the different logs? So if I want to see that log information, we will be running the diagnostic test. We'll be running the diagnostic test. So for that, we need the permission. We need the access to perform that here, okay? So once we have the access to FSM environment, then we will be able to run this diagnostic test. Whenever we are running this diagnostic test, system will ask us, the input information. Input in the sense when you have done the transaction, what was the transaction and who has performed that transaction. Then it will show the entire log. When I see that log, okay, system was trying to terminate an employee. That time it's got a problem due to future assignment or whatever reason. Okay. So diagnostic tests will give us the uh, complete log information of the backend process. It's also one of the important questions. So if they ask us like uh, when you are trying to perform some transaction in the cloud environment, you got some error messages and you would like to know the exactly what happened in the back end. Where do you find out and complete log information? Where do you find out? So what we have to do is we have to find out is there any diagnostic test for that particular process? We cannot expect this diagnostic test will be available for each and every process in the cloud. But important, like global transfer, hiring, termination, options, employee options, termination, options, uh, uh, migration, and payroll execution, almost important uh, places everywhere we will find. So that time we'll run that particular option and we'll get it. So that uh, review topology will use us the information of the tests which are available. See that here, set up export and import service configuration information. Object-wise, we can find out here it is. Okay? Thank you. So whenever